So this month of March, we're celebrating community and, and our community of Hutchinson and our neighborhoods. And we have some activities out for you guys to, to work on that. We even have a scavenger hunt that you can do around Hutchinson. You can take that and, and bring it back for a prize. Um, yeah, Hutchinson. And we're also going to be talking a lot about community helpers. Do you guys know any helpers in our community that you see? Who do you see that helps out? Fire, I hear firemen. Yeah, firemen and police. Who else? Um, doctors. Doctors. Yep. Yeah. And dentists. nurses and dentists and veterinarians and mailmen. Lots of people, right? So we're gonna today we're gonna be talking about doctors and nurses and going to the checkups. Um, but we'll get started with our welcome song. Okay, you guys, remember it. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp, stomp. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. What should we do next? What do you think? Um, jump up and down. Jump up and down? Okay. If you're ready for a story, jump up and down. Jump up and down. If you're ready for a story, jump up and down. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, jump up and down. What's, what should we do next? Fly. Fly. Oh, I like that one. If you're ready for a story, flap your wings. Should we flap our wings? Fly through the sky. If you're ready for a story, fly. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, fly. Nice flying. Should we do one more? What should we do? Should we spin around? Yeah. Or should we shout hooray? hooray? How about we do spin around and then shout hooray? So if you're ready for a story, spin around. Hooray. If you're ready for a story, shout hooray. hooray. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit down. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right. How many of you here have been to the doctor before? And had a checkup. Yeah? What do you do there? What kinds of things do you do there? Have done there? You remember? Let's see. Got a cast? Yep. How about you? Did you go? Yeah, do they? How about you? How about you got a shot. How about you? I got three of them. Three of them? A shot? Yep. But I, I had two shots. Lots of shots. At bedtime when my mom's mommy is bed. That's nice. Well, this first. Oh. This first book is about a mouse named Maisie that pretends she's a doctor. Let's see what she does. Hello, Dr. Maisie. Hello, Nurse Tallulah. Tallula. Let's play hospital. You guys ever play that at your house? You like to play that? Tallulah listens to Maisie's heartbeat that tickles. I do. You do? Panda is sick today. <gasps> Maisie listens to his heartbeat. Thump, thump, thump. Maisie takes Panda's temperature. Oh no, Panda has a fever. Panda needs to rest. Maisie carries him up the stairs. Night, night, Panda. Get well soon. Tallulah calls from downstairs. Maisie, Maisie. Maisie runs down the stairs. Careful, not too fast. <clears throat> Crash! Maisie bumps into Lula. Ouch! Tallulah wraps Maisie's nose in a bandage. It's a big nose that needs a big bandage, huh? <laughs> That's better. Bye-bye, Nurse Tallulah. Bye-bye, Dr. Maisie. 
All right, now we're gonna do just a little song. What is something we can do to keep ourselves from getting sick that helps us from getting sick? Nap. Nap? That's a good one. Take what? Medicine. Take medicine. Rest. Rest. Take a nap. How about do you guys wash your hands? Do you like to wash your hands? <laughs> do you wash your hands? Well, this is called the hand washing song, okay? So we're gonna get our hands out, all right? We're gonna do tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Scrub them all together, scrub them all together. Now we're clean, squeaky clean. All right, we'll do that one more time, okay? All right. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Scrub them all together, scrub them all together. Now we're clean, squeaky clean. Good job. Well, now we have a special guest from a community helper. We have a nurse here to read to you. Her name is Liz, so let's welcome Liz. She's gonna read. Hi, everyone. How are you today? You're good? Good, well, thanks for letting me come read to you today. So today we're going to read a book about a little boy named Leo who's going to get a checkup at the doctor's office, okay? Leo is a big boy now. Today he is going for a checkup. Now that Leo is big, he drinks from his cup and eats by himself. Now it is time to go. Leo puts his toys away. Good job, Leo. Daddy packs a bag. Leo gets his blankie and Mr. Seahorse. They wait their turn at the clinic. Leo sits and plays with Mr. Seahorse. Do you guys play at the clinic in the lobby? Yeah. It is Leo's turn. Welcome, Leo. Leo shows what he can do now. Leo gets a sticker and a new book to read at home. Do you guys get stickers when you go to the doctor? Yeah? yeah? And a book? Yeah? Cool. Then they check his height and weight and his eyes and ears. Thump, thump. Leo's heart sounds great. Then Leo gets a shot. It will keep him healthy. Well done, Leo. The checkup is done. See you next time, Leo. Bye-bye. Yeah. And I got a hiccup, and then I go to Dr. Tim, and then I got no hiccups. Wow. Well, I'm glad he helped with your hiccups. That's good. <laughs> you guys have any other questions for me? Yeah. Have you guys ever seen one of these before? Do you know what it does? Yeah, and it also can listen to your lungs, how you're breathing. Yeah. I, I see one of those, but, but in toys. In toys, yeah. Sometimes they have pretend ones, and they have real ones, too. Yeah. We also can listen to something called a blood pressure with this. Where That's where they pump up your arm with a little cuff. Have you ever had that done before? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of tickles, huh? Gives your arm a hug. What other questions do you guys have about the doctor? Do you like going to the doctor? Yeah? I only liked it when I got my cat. Yeah? Was that kind of fun? Oh, okay. I'm sure mom and dad thought it was fun. Yeah. 
Thank you. How many cats do we have? This much or this much? Oh, I don't know. Three? This many. That many? Oh, okay. But one of them Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> you guys want to ask her anything else? I used to have three cats, but now, now I have two because one died. Yeah, I'm sorry. I told them. Do you, guys have, do you have any questions about going to, the, like, going to the doctor's office or the hospital? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay. <laughs> so, how many of you have had to use a bandage before, like this? Have you guys had to use a bandage? Yeah? We're going to sing a little song about a bandage. You guys help me figure out where I should put it, okay? <clears throat> All right, so. <gasps> you can stand up, sure. Put a bandage on my knee, put a bandage on my knee. Should I put it on my knee? Yeah. Is this my knee? No. Where's my knee? Right here. Down here. Oh, right here. All right. Where else should we put a bandage? Put a... On my... Where's your... Where's my elbow? Can you guys show me? Right there? Oh, nice. Where else should we put a bandage? Where have you had to put a bandage before? My shoulder. My shoulder. Is this my shoulder? No! Ah, where's my shoulder? Oh, right here? Oh, sure, that makes sense. And your arms. Like right here? No! No? Oh, up here on my forehead? Where? On my arm? Is my arm here? No! Where is my arm? Oh, up here. Where else have you put bandages before? On your heart. Cheek. On my heart. My cheek? No. My cheek, is that here? No. Here's my cheek. Point to your, oh, right here. Yes. Where, one more place. Where should we put it? Tongue. Oh, where's my tongue? Can I put one on my tongue? <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> All right, who wants to do a beanbag song? All right. <laughs> I'm going to put these out here. You guys can come and get a bean bag. <gasps> Shake it. Your head on your knees, on your tummy, and wiggle down low. Should we do one more story? Let's see. 
This one is about a squirrel. What kind of doctor do animals go to? Do you guys know? A vet. A vet, you're right. This guy is gonna go, he's gonna visit the doctor or the vet. Let's see what he does. It's called Scaredy Squirrel Visits the Doctor. All right, there's a warning with this book. Scaredy Squirrel insists that everyone check their heartbeat before reading this book. You wanna listen to your heartbeat? Is it doing okay? <laughs> All right. Scaredy Squirrel has never visited the doctor. He'd rather keep a healthy distance and risk going for a checkup. It might be a pain. A few aches and pains Scaredy Squirrel is worried sick about. Prickling, squeezing, head spinning, ear ringing, itching, and poking. Are you guys worried about those? <laughs> I'm worried about poking. About poking? So he keeps his health in check to avoid visiting the doctor. I'm scared about squeezing. Yeah, me too. Scaredy stays fit by doing cardio workouts for his heart. He lifts weights for his muscles, balances his diet for his stomach, drinks milk for his bones, sings opera for his lungs, solves puzzles for his brain, and taking good care of his five senses. His smell, his touch, his taste, his hearing, and his sight. That's when he sees Dr. Vet's advice. Every animal should visit the clinic to get a health certificate. <gasps> Does he look a little scared? Yeah. You think he looks kind of scared? Like this. Yeah, he's kind of panicked, I think. Look at this man. Scaredy doesn't feel too good about seeing Dr. Vet. He's got panic. His mind races, his teeth chatter, his paws are sweaty, his stomach is in knots, his knees shake, his heart beats faster, and his breathing speeds up but having a certificate would put his mind at ease. So he plans a visit. <clears throat> a few items Scaredy needs to safely visit the doctor vet. A saw, I'm not sure why he needs a saw. <laughs> a pet carrier, bubble wrap, a sweater, sunglasses, and earplugs. So he's going to wear the sunglasses to bypass the dizzying activity. So he's going to avoid seeing the hamster. Um, he's going to put the earplugs in so he doesn't have to hear the bird. He's going to cover up with a warm sweater to shield himself from air conditioning. He wants to stay warm. He's going to use the bubble wrap to avoid squeezing, prickling, and poking. He's also, he's, oh, he's going to use the saw to cut out the bottom of the pet carrier. He's going to hide inside it and then tiptoe to the clinic. That's kind of silly. He's hiding in his carrier. There he goes. See? His feet are out the bottom. The next morning, Scaredy carries out his plan. He enters the clinic, tiptoes into place, sets up and waits, and waits. When suddenly, he's discovered being seen by Dr. Vet was not part of the plan. He was gonna try to hide. Everybody panics. They're all startled. Look at that. Look at Pokey. Now they're all panicked, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> First he plays dead. Seconds later, the doctor, the vet, checks his heartbeat. Minutes later, oh, he's getting up. Oh, he's still laying down. Scaredy Squirrel finally comes to his senses. Every patient here is in good hands. Dr. Vet begins Scaredy Squirrel's health exam. She weighs and measures him. 
takes his temperature and pulse, checks his ears, fur, and teeth, looks at his x-ray, explains how he can vary his meals, and gives him an eye exam. Sierdy sees it doesn't hurt at all to get a checkup. In fact, he feels good knowing everything is a-okay. Last but not least, Dr. Vet has helpful tips in case of panic. What can you do if you're scared and panicked? Um, hold a stuffy. Hold a stuffy, oh, I love that one. Some other ideas, oh, what about you? Breathe. Breathe, yeah. Deep, deep breaths. breaths, that's one of them. You can close your eyes, think happy thoughts, take deep breaths, and try to relax. Scaredy has never felt better. He thanks Dr. Vet and helps prepare everyone's certificates. Dr. Vet congratulates Scaredy and tells him to keep up his healthy routine. Scaredy knows he can come back and visit anytime. There he goes, he got his certificate. Does he have a certificate? <laughs> yeah. P.S. A layer of bubble wrap never hurts. <laughs> you're going to wrap yourself in bubble wrap if you're worried, huh? Well, thank you, guys. Nice. Yeah. We actually, downstairs, we have activities, and we, you can bring your stuffies and give them a checkup down there if you want. All right? <laughs>